the album sounds so good. And that's because we had two months instead of 17 days to record Legacy of Kings. We were so enthusiastic. We were so happy that we were able to actually live off the music. I had my dreams of becoming a rock star, so it was like, yeah, now it's happening. <laughs> the band had a lot of energy, good melodies, so everything was right. We needed a drummer and a guitar player, and then we also needed a bass player. Because we really wanted to improve the overall sound, and Jesper, by all means, was a good drummer, but we needed to have a great drummer. Joachim asked me to join the band and try out for drums. It was, of course, fantastic, and uh, it was hard to, to believe that the door was open for us. This was our first headline tour and our first, like you said, world tour, so there were so many things that we had never experienced before. Heeding the Call is one of the, the, the biggest hits we, we have, I think. Well, when it comes to, to, to playing live, that song was included in the set for so many years, so many tours. This was the first time we were doing these kind of things together. Uh, but I don't remember we had any problems really. Uh, there was no fights or nothing, what I remember. People really like our band. Um, so it was, it felt like almost a dream. Meanwhile, Oscar was more the, the, the riffy accept guy. I was more the up-tempo, speed, Halloween guy. The Hammerfall period, my mother died of cancer, my brother died in a fire. I don't remember exactly the timeline really, but it turns out that um, he most likely or probably got murdered somehow by some guy. Legacy of King Kings is kind of the big brother of Glory to the Brave. You have more or less the same influences. You have the two ballads, you have the up-tempo opening track, you have the cover.